Do you ever have spirits follow you home? Yes. How does that how does that work? Do they get attached to the personality or I'm not too sure. Um they just sometimes follow you home and so that's why it's really important um to like I said set that boundary, set that standard. You can sage yourself or wear your crystals and stuff like that. I had actually I think it it wasn't from the Boyd house. It was cuz it was like a week later. And I had done a reading over the phone mm. and there was just something in me that was saying, Jamie, you need to cancel this reading. Just refund the lady her money. Just don't do the reading. Don't really? do the reading. Yeah. But I went ahead and did the reading anyways, because I'm starting to do that, you know, do readings. I'm getting bookings actually through my website and mm. I didn't want to start that premise of canceling on people and get that bad word of mouth. Right. Yeah. So I'm like, no, I'm going to go forward with the reading. And she was this individual that lived down in Mississippi or, you know, somewhere down South and she wanted me to kind of get a feeling and feel what was in her house. Mm. And so there was multiple things in there. And then um, I had given her some extra time because I had to reschedule her a little bit. And we were I was in the middle of explaining something. So I, I went over that even more so. And she's like, I just have one more question for you. I'm like, OK. She's like, who's the pig man? I was like, oh, shit. You know? Pig man? Yeah. I don't know. Um, this entity that apparently would come up to her and, I don't know, was... Really? Yeah. And I Sounds don't know... Like a horror movie. Yeah. Um, <sighs> and so I don't know if it was that or some... But something... I Then I just felt like off. Mm. Like I felt like drained or like I didn't feel my normal self. Yeah. And I was talking to a good friend of mine that has just been kind of starting to explore his gifts a little bit or something like that. And he's like, what is around you? I'm like, I don't know. What do you mean? <laughs> yeah. Like what's around me? Uh -huh. You know, type of thing. And so I, after our conversation, I was like, nope, you know what? Whatever it is, they can get the F out of my house, you know? So yeah. then I went in there, you know, you open up all the doors and windows and I started at the top of my house and I was saging it. And I just command, I'm like, you know, only those of love and light, any other lower negative vibrations, I command you to leave, all that uh -huh. kind of stuff, right? And just yeah. going through out the um, exterior of each room. Mm. And I was downstairs then, and I was like in my dining room area. And there's like a hallway, and then there's like this little door here, and then a, there's like a little entryway here, and there's the outside door. Mm. Okay, so there's two doors here. Yeah. And the wind is blowing inwards, okay, because I opened up the window on the door. Yeah. And... So then I'm down here at, at the dining room and I said, I command you to go out one of these doors or windows now because how dare you come into my house and follow me home and blah, 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 blah. And all of a sudden I hear creak and then slam. Really? Yeah. Wow. This yeah. is at that exact time too. Right after I said wow. that. Wow. Yeah. So you're thinking the pig man. Or something. Was, that's interesting. And this was a phone call. Mm-hmm. How? Yeah. That's unbelievable that you can talk to these people on the phone mm -hmm. and that something would come to you. Well, yeah. How does that? Ah, that's, that's I know. I know that's something that I, I really need to figure out, especially if I'm going to continue doing readings at home and stuff is. And I mean, and the thing is, is I even surrounded myself with crystals and mm. like, I mean, but then again, too, was it from the reading or was it from the Boyd house or True. Where, where I work? Because I work at like a prison and there's lots of different energies and entities there. It could have been something from there, too. Mm. Um, I think I had talked to Adrian about that and he's like, well, if I've been dead for 150 years and you came around, came around, you know, like, and you can hear me, of course, I'm going to follow you home, you know, type <laughs> yeah. of thing, right? Yeah. Cause, cause you can hear me and yeah, uh -huh. I, can, I need to tell you my story or something like that. But it's just, it's something else when it goes into like your personal space, especially uh -huh. with my kids and stuff. And yep. so I just kind of energetically set up that boundary and all that kind of stuff. And it's just something that I, going forward, I know I'm going to have to be more vigilant in, in possibly saging once a week or, or do, doing something kind of, and people ask, well, you said that, why can't it be good? And I was talking to my friend and I said, I guess it's kind of like view it as like watering a plant, right? You can't mm. just plant it and water it once. Mm. You're going to have to keep watering it to keep it strong. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So it's yeah. the same thing with like saging or setting up that boundary is that's unfortunately maybe how some stuff might follow you home. So it's just being that extra vigilant. Or after that expo that I did last week is I took a few moments and I grounded and centered myself and just cleared all that energy and said, nothing is following me home. You yeah. can stay here or go back to wherever you came from or go back to God's source, whatever it is, mm -hmm. but you're not following me home. Yeah, that's scary <laughs> stuff thing. right there. Yeah. That's creepy stuff. Yeah.